Volkswagen has had record sales in Canada, mostly thanks to the car you see here, the Volkswagen Jetta. They introduced this car, a bigger car, but competing in the compact space, really almost mid-sized dimensions. A huge cabin on the inside, big back seat, and a massive trunk. In fact, this car accounts for 20% of all of Volkswagen sales. There were critics that said this wasn't a real Volkswagen. It was a decontented car. It didn't have independent rear suspension, it had drum brakes in the back, and a cheap looking interior. 2015 rolls around, they add independent rear suspension, they add disc brakes in the back, and they update the inside. Here we are in 2016 with more changes. Under the hood is a brand new engine. Gone is the old two liter engine that's literally decades old, replaced by a modern 1.4 liter turbocharged direct injection engine. The nice thing is Volkswagen is giving us the car that Canadians really buy. This is the Trendline Plus, one up from the base model, and about 50% of all of the Jettas sold are this particular car. So we're here just outside of Ottawa to give it a try. Now I mentioned in 2015 they updated the interior. They gave new switch gear on the steering wheel, uh, some bright work on the inside as well. However, on the lower trim levels like this trend line, you still get the hard dashboard. And that can be forgiven on the base model because it's basically $16,000. When you move up in the Jetta range, it does change to softer touch materials, so that's okay. Uh, now front and center is the new head unit. The one here on the Trendline Plus is a 6.3 inch unit. It's all new, it's much quicker and much faster. And the biggest new feature is the inclusion of Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Now I have an Android phone and all you need to do is plug it in and once you've set it up with the system, it's pretty straightforward. Here, I'll give you a quick explanation of how it works. And uh, here's my device. So this is my phone mirrored onto the head unit. You have directions, and uh, let's do something fun here. So you have your Google microphone there. Hit that. Directions to 24 Sussex Drive, Ottawa, Ontario. 24 Sussex is 45 minutes from your location by car and light traffic. Here are your directions. So there you go. So that's uh, 20, 24 Sussex Drive. That's the Prime Minister's uh, house. Uh, telephone is pretty self-explanatory. You have all of it. Up here you have things like um, a dial a number, like if you want to do a keypad, you have that. Um, your call history, missed calls, what have you. But you can just uh, ask it to call. Call Brian Chow. Calling Chow Brian, mobile. If you want to text somebody, text Brian Chow. What's the message? I am in Ottawa. What are you doing? Question mark. Here's your text to Chow Brian. I am in Ottawa. What are you doing? Do you want to send it? Yes. Sending message. Uh, music. Um, so you have um, your phone music, which is, uh, which is pretty great. So that's Google Play Music. You also have certain apps that are open to you. So Slacker Radio, I have that on my phone. Spotify, I have that on my phone. And TuneIn Radio. What I don't see here is my streaming music service, which is RDO. Um, so hopefully that's going to be updated to include that. And the great thing about this is with the navigation, so this car uh, is uh, $20,000 and your phone has all the latest up-to-date apps and you have that on the screen and you don't have to do anything uh, other than use your phone. And everybody's been wanting to mirror the phone into the car. Uh, it's all happening now. Volkswagen has this on all of their models. So this is fantastic. I'm pretty happy and uh, let's go for pizza. The biggest reason this car sells so well is because of its size. You really are getting a mid-size car for compact prices. The back seat is absolutely enormous. There's plenty of room. I've got the seat set for the way I would sit to drive and you can see there's so much room behind the seats. The trunk is massive as well and you get a lot of car for your money and because Volkswagen has updated it with all of the features that typical Volkswagen owners want like that independent suspension it brings this car really forward and with the inclusion of this new head unit it makes it much safer to use for people who are always on their phones anyway. Now this is the second time I've had a chance to drive a Volkswagen product with this 1.4 liter turbocharged direct injection engine. The first time was a couple of years ago when I got to drive the seventh generation Golf for the very first time. That was uh, around the Nice area, Monte Carlo in uh, the south of France. Now the takeaway from both times driving it is the same. 
This engine has quite a bit of power and even more torque, and that's a big plus, because torque is what you use most of the time when you're taking off from a light and uh, merging in traffic in the city. So power is up substantially. 35 more horsepower over the old engine, up to 150 horsepower, and torque is up 59 foot-pounds to 184 foot-pounds of torque. That is a lot of torque for a car of this size. And you might be thinking, a 1.4 liter engine, that's really quite small, but this car isn't the only one that has an engine that size. The Chevy Cruze has had a 1.4 turbo for years, and that's a great engine as well. You put it all together with the updates they've made over the last several years, independent suspension, disc brakes, now with a really competent base engine, you're getting a lot of car for your money, considering this car starts at $16,000. You still feel some of the plastics on the steering wheel, it's not leather, same with the shift the hard touch materials but overall considering the price at 20,000 and under it's fairly well put together now well Volkswagen has certainly had its critics lately with the whole diesel gate problem and yes people complained about the Jetta not being a real Volkswagen not the same car that you get in Europe but Volkswagen to their credit over the last several years has gone around rectifying the problems independent suspension disc brakes much better interior and now for 2016 you get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Then you add in a huge jump in power and a massive jump in torque with this new 1.4 liter turbo. So with the price starting at just under $19,000 for this, the best seller, the Trendline Plus, if you want to get automatic, it's just over 20. For 2016, this might be the model year to get. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe. If you want to watch a full review on the all new Volkswagen Golf Alltrack, click the picture on the left.